So let's see how that actually works in practice. Now let's say you're starting a topic. What's the first thing you do? Um, although not an official stage, I encourage all students that wish to succeed to go to something that I call preparing stage. Now, in a different lecture series, I talk about uh, how to plan and track your progress so they can succeed within the mastery system. Very important for any student that actually wants to succeed to take a look at that lecture series because it will be very useful. I talk about how to study, how to set your pace, and all that stuff. And as we go through the year, we'll learn how to do these things as well. But the uh, first thing, of course, is that when you actually start to study and you're getting to that, have in your mind that you probably won't succeed in this class or a student cannot succeed in this class if they don't go home and study a little bit. Because typically, especially in honors classes, if you spend less than 30 minutes a day with the class, you probably won't get a C for the class. All right? It takes effort to learn science, to learn hard stuff. So it's very important to spend time with it. And as soon as we want to get an A, we should probably shoot for something like an hour a day in order to learn. You know, And you also have to accept that this varies. Some people will be able to get catch stuff really quick, but some things will, people will take longer. And you can't really compare yourself with other people. You can only compare... Uh, you only compete with yourself, really. And so it's very important to set goals that you can succeed at and actually keep working as hard as you can, all right? But when you start studying, all right, the first thing that you should do is you should prepare for it. Uh, research shows that kids learn better when they make connections with the material with, with things they have already learned before so when they activate prior learners of experiences or when they use things called pre-reading strategies so throughout the year I spent some time teaching kids some of these strategies that they can use before they read in order to activate their, their knowledge that they've already had and to make connections with the topics so that they can make more substantial learning gains. Now, some topics may have specific activities listed, especially the ones at the beginning of the year because I want to try to teach them how to do these strategies. But as we go throughout the year, I will learn teach them several strategies and eventually I will let the kids choose which strategy to use. As they become more familiar with the strategies, uh, I encourage them to keep using different strategies. One, some, one time you use this one, one time you use that one. It's so you can figure out what works best for you and you can stick with that after you figure that out. Uh, but it's also important to keep changing things so you can not get bored. But anyways, I will arm the students with several different ways to activate prior knowledge of experiences. I call them pre-reading strategies. And I always motivate them to use this. And sometimes I will even, before the first student hits the topic and starts talking about it, we will do some sort of discussion in class or an exploration or a mini lecture or even sometimes a lab or a demonstration, which will help them uh, associate or connect to the topic as well. So there are many ways of doing this. And some of the ways I will actually do in class, but ultimately... As you, yes, as a student, start studying yourself, it's important to take this step to prepare to learn. And so, as we get into the class, uh, you, the first few topics, start learning these strategies and start using them as much as possible. Because if you skip this step, you probably won't do as well as you would otherwise. This helps a lot, all right? So, and also remember that the very most important thing, the first thing you should do when you're preparing is to download what I call the topic guide, the lecture guide for a topic. Because there you will see the list of objectives for that topic, the things you need to know, the things you need to achieve on that topic before you can be considered a master, and a list of the vocabulary terms associated with the topic that you're supposed to know. So, it's a great way to get ready uh, for the topic.